Y'all, I tried a hair mask in my hair last night and I feel like I put way too much in my hair and now it's just greasy and crazy. Also, ever since cutting my hair, I feel like I still put the same amount of product that I would have put in my hair when it was long and I just have less hair. I need to use less product. Anyway. Hi guys. I just finally sat down and had my quiet time with the Lord. Obviously you guys saw that. I was in my Bible and uh, it is 4 p.m. I know. Probably by the way that I look, you figured it was the morning and uh, it's not. It's literally 4 p.m. because I ended up being on the phone with my mom this morning. Honestly, the majority of my day has been on the phone with my mother. It's been three and a half hours that I was on the phone with my mom and we just do that. I should have known, I should have known. I was the one that initiated it. I called her, because we haven't talked in like a week. A little less than a week, but whatever. It was awful. Like the fact that we'd even gone that long without speaking was just unacceptable on my end. So we had a lot to catch up on. With that being said, I just was not able to start my day. So anyway, I have made this decision within myself where I'm going to sit down with the Bible every day. And if you guys are a follower of mine, maybe you've assumed I've been doing that already, but there are days that I do not sit down and read the Bible. Sometimes it's days on end. So I'm just keeping it real. But that is a goal that I've made with myself, me and my friend Ashley, we have a couple things that we're keeping each other accountable for this week. She's got one thing that she's focusing on. This is for me. I want to be better about actually being in the Bible for at least 30 minutes a day. And I want to do that every single day this week and see how I feel at the end of the week. And I bet I'll have less spiritual warfare. I bet I'll have less struggles, less worry, less weird vibes. Because that's the only way you keep the weird vibes away, okay, is with the word. The word. I have dinner at six o'clock with friends. We're going to dinner and then we're going to Top Golf after. So I figured today would be a great day to vlog and take you guys with me, but now I need to get ready. And I'm definitely gonna have to wash my hair because I just told you. I love you guys. Let's get ready. Hey, let's just hang out today. Does that sound good? <laughs> okay, okay. Let's just hang out today. Also, it's so quiet because I locked the girls away while I had my quiet time because they were really distracting and I could not be with Jesus when my girls were running around causing a ruckus. Okay, ladies, it's okay, you can come out now. And then it's my angel. Oh, it's my angel child. Wait, you may. don't bark to your mother. Okay, I have an hour. It's so good. We're ready. This is our outfit. Cute, cute. I just bought these. I forgot about them. They're green. It's like a really dark green, how freaking fun. I just want my pinky toes back. Help me, help me. We went to dinner and it was so cold. I can't feel my toes, I'm freaking out. I'm literally freaking out. <laughs> my pinky toe, deceased. When did I let this happen? Like, how did I not say, hey, numbness is starting to happen? I think we were all getting cold, but like none of us were doing anything. I didn't do anything about it. <laughs> I didn't do anything about it. Can I just thank y'all so much for your patience through my drama right now? Oh. This only is so good. Anyway, I'm sorry I didn't vlog the dinner. I feel bad that I didn't do that. We had good conversation too. It was. So it was good. such a good conversation. What were y'all's favorite parts of the conversation we had? I love the part that Gray said about how that we literally like have to love people and not try to fix where they're them. at and not try to fix yeah, them. Yeah. Like loving people loving where, them they, where are. they are. Yeah. Because if you're trying to fix someone, it's going to be like they're going to be defensive. No like, one wants to feel like they're a project. Yeah. No yeah. one wants to feel like they need to be fixed. When the truth is we all need to be fixed. Yeah. yeah. We will all continue to need but to be fixed. But it's not our job to the fix. But we are the fixers. Jesus. That's who Jesus is. Jesus yes. is the fixer. Jesus, Jesus is the carpenter of our hearts. Come on. Yeah. He is. So I think that, yeah, that was a good point, Ash. I loved that moment. And sometimes we have to be patient with the Lord. Like the fact that it took six years for her friend to finally be curious about the Lord. But that's why we got to trust God's timing. It yeah. almost makes you like sit there and be like, okay, like would I, you know, been that persistent for six years? 
yeah. and been persistent and loved them for six years. But it also is the same thing. It's like, it's like that's the that's the heart posture we have to have because that's yeah. the heart posture like God has. Yes. Like he could He has so much them. patience. Yes. He literally like again. I mean, he sat by and he waited for me for like twenty seven years. Yeah. Like yeah. we have to have that same amount of patience for the people around us. You yeah, know. We do. Yeah. That was great. What Tell me! What did your name is the highest? I love this song. Your name is the greatest. Your name stands above it all. Your name stands above it all. I love this song. It's so good. Holy. <laughs> I feel like we just did this. Um, okay, yesterday was kind of a flop. Not really, actually. It was a beautiful day, but it was a flop in the sense of, like, I thought I had plans. Alexa, let's pause. Um, I've been loving playing, like, worship, not worship music. I do love playing worship music, but I've been loving playing just, like, nice, soothing, kind of low-key spa music, like, meditation music while reading my Bible. I don't know, y'all. If you've never tried it, I think you should try it because it literally gets me in the zone. So, yesterday, I told y'all that we were supposed to go to dinner and then we were gonna go to Top Golf. So we went to dinner and I literally forgot my camera in the car. So didn't vlog any of that, like I said. And we end up talking about Jesus and the Bible. We were there sitting at dinner for like three hours. Like we stayed for another two hours after we were done eating. It was crazy. It was such good conversation. I actually am so bummed that I didn't document it because I think you guys would have loved to have been a fly on the wall. Um, during that, but uh, because we had stayed at dinner so long, we scratched the Top Golf thing. So we didn't even go to Top Golf because we were just talking so much. And then you guys saw me. We were back at um, we went back to Ashley's house, and my toes were literally blue. I had not realized how cold my feet had gotten. Like I knew they were cold, but obviously the boots I was wearing had no insulin. And so uh, when I tell you that my toes were blue, I was actually low key scared. I'm gonna sit down and have my quiet time with the Lord, right? Because we're in this routine. And then tonight we're going to like a movie premiere. Uh, we're going to like a premiere. It's very low key though, apparently. It's not like super, it's not like the premieres you're thinking of or the premieres that I've gone to in the past where it's giving like red carpet, especially when I lived out in LA, it's not giving that, which I kind of am loving. Like I love the idea of just going in jeans and then we're going to the theater to actually watch it. And hopefully I will remember to take my vlog camera so you guys can be a part of my day a little bit more today. <laughs> to give my girls a bath because they're filthy. I just took a shower myself. I bathed Gracie as well. And so now we just gotta bathe the little one in the sink. She does really enjoy being on the counters. So maybe this will be fun for you, me. Little baby. Oh, oh, smelly Daisy. Yeah, it's okay, Daisy. Yeah, see, baby, she's getting a bath too. It's all this mud all over her tummy. Daisy, you are about to smell like a freaking flower, girly. Little baby. Oh, oh, little baby. Okay, you're not going anywhere just yet. Please don't jump off a bridge. It's okay. <laughs> it's gonna take a little more time for you to dry off because your hair is longer, baby. She's a wet girl and she's sad. We gotta clean your belly. Hey, give me a kiss. I know you're mad at me. Oh, it's the worst. Gracie, she's fine. <laughs> okay, we're nice and clean. We got a clean wean. <laughs> okay. Yay, my girl, that's your play. Yay. Now we're going to have the after bath zoomies for 45 minutes. Oh my gosh. I've been cleaning all day because the girls... We're making my home so muddy. They were muddy. You saw me giving baths. I've been doing so much laundry. Now I'm eating some sweet potato gnocchi from Trader Joe's. 
And I'm not eating quick enough. Go, go. I'm hot in this sweater. <laughs> we got here. We're at the movies. Friends. You want to give us a little lowdown of what this movie's about? Okay, so it's about uh, a family who is, uh, they need a miracle. Yes. And the entire town gets together on a snowy, like there's a huge snowstorm, and the entire to get town over. gets together uh -huh. to support this family. It sounds like it's a tearjerker. And it's it's definitely, it's called Ordinary Angels. You're going to cry. We're going to cry. But you're going to be so glad that you went. I'm Don't just take my word for it, though. I'm doing it with my friends that I love so much. <laughs> I'm so happy we're here. Me too. into doing a little interview. Yeah. Uh, but we were my little lippy on, so we're okay. Yay! We're gonna do it together. We're gonna tackle it together. Yeah. It's incredible. Wow, 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 wow. What did we think of the film, Ash? I thought it was amazing. I it was cried about actually four incredible. Times. It was four. amazing. I, cr I kept you were crying, crying nonstop. I kept, like, Ashley's sitting on. next to me and she's like, <laughs> I'm like laying on their shoulder crying. <laughs> that was an incredible film. That might actually be one of the best films I've seen in a while. Oh, you guys gotta see it. It was so good. <gasps> wow. Hey, y'all. We're home now. I was the one driving everybody, so I couldn't really update y'all in the car or anything, but I'm so grateful. Tonight was so good. Y'all gotta see the movie Ordinary Angels. Like, for real. I didn't even expect this vlog to turn into something like this where I'm like, promoting this movie, but I'm promoting this movie. Ordinary Angels, February 23rd. Um, what in the world? It was an incredible movie, y'all. It is now literally 11 o'clock at night. Like, what in the world? What happened? The girls are here. Where has mommy been this whole time? What's going on? Where are you, Dee Dee? But Dee Dee, oh, there she goes. It's so funny, Daisy literally blends in with this floor. Sometimes I'm like, where is she? My girls smell so good because they took their bath today. I had such a great night and I love my friends. I literally love my friends. I love my friends so much that I'm afraid I'm gonna lose them, which is just silliness. Do you ever get such a good thing in your life that sometimes you're afraid that it'll be taken away from you? That's a real feeling, actually. That's me being vulnerable for a second. But do you, are you ever afraid that you get these blessings in your life and then it's like so great and you're so grateful for it, but then you're also like, oh my gosh, God, but what happens if I lose it? What happens if you lose it? First off, if you lose it, then it wasn't God's plan. Second off, you're good because you, the Lord has you in the palm of his hands. He's taking care of you and everything's gonna be okay. But lastly is that whatever's sent into your life by the Lord is probably not gonna be taken from you like that. You know what I mean? I get so scared when I start loving people so much. I love y'all though. I love you guys. I hope that you have an incredible day, or you already had an incredible day, or you have an even better day tomorrow. That'd be really cool. Like, let's say you had the best day ever, and then it's even better tomorrow. I pray for that for y'all. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next vlog. <laughs>